I am joined now by the NEF amateur bantamweight champion, Cam Arnold, who's getting ready to defend his belt this Saturday at NEF 41 at, at the Aura Arena against Walt Shea. Cam, what's up, man? How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's always a pleasure. Now, you've actually been very quiet this camp. I'm used to seeing, you know, some posts and some, I don't know, uh, some motivational stuff coming from you in previous fights. Uh, what's the change? I know you suffered your first loss. Do you just feel a little bit more uh, reinvigorated, more motivated? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's time to really show everybody what I'm made of, you know. And, uh, you know, now that I've shown where I needed to work on, um, you know, it was just time to put the nose to the grindstone and just work, you know. Um, that's who I am. I'm a worker, you know, and I like to show instead of talk, you know. And, um, you know, when finally when, when somebody shuts me up like the way they did, you know, uh, I'm not not to put, portray that I was cocky or overconfident in any way, but um, you know when when you suffer your first defeat like that, you know it's time to just kind of let social media slide, you know, and really focus in on what you need to work on. You know, um, I'm not here to be some uh, sideshow on social media. You know, I'm here to be the best band of weight in the world. You know, and um, we're working that one step at a time here in the amateur ranks. Now, I see you got that Cage Titan shirt on. Let's talk about that fight against Jeff Joy, because I know a lot of people were, he's a tough fighter, don't get me wrong, but a lot of people were feeling that, you know, you were going to be going in there, you are going to be making a statement there in that fight. What happened? Did you go in a little overconfident, or did you get caught? What's your overall assessment of the fight? Uh, you know what? He he's a really tough kid, man, and uh, you know he he stayed composed. Um, you know I I look really good in there, you know. Uh, but you know, and I it and it goes to show I put in just so everybody knows I put in the best camp of my life for that fight. Like literally, I thought that I I going into that fight I was like I this is the best work I've ever put in. This is the easiest weight cut I've ever had. Um, you know, just going into the fight, it felt so right. I was going to be making history, you know, there's so much things on my plate there, you know, um, but I made a mistake, man. You know, I got caught with a spinning back fist. I was too heavy. You know, I was trying to make him engage, you know, um, cause I, I want to put on a show, you know what I mean? And I want to fight. That's who I am. I'm a fighter. Um, so I was really trying to get him to engage in the center of the cage you know, and I was really working my coach's game plan. They really wanted me to stay in the center of the cage, dominate the center of the cage, chop down the legs. Um, you know, they didn't really want me to throw too many spinning stuff, <clears throat> especially in the first round. They just kind of wanted me to touch him up. And when he came in, they just kind of wanted me to Cody Garbrandt him and just kind of explode on him. Um, and, and unfortunately, I didn't really get to – I don't believe I even really landed my right hand on him, honestly. Um, I think I just barely skimmed him. I believe if you look in one of the photos where I was fully turned over, um, I, I don't even think I touched him with my right hand. I think I just, honestly, I just cracked him with my jab. And uh, so needless to say, I stuck to the game plan, you know, and I, I felt really good in there. Um, and then he got me on, when he got my back, um, it, I'm going to put it this way. Like he, he put it on, he put on his seatbelt. And uh, if anyone's ever been open hand smack before, it, like to me, when I've been open hand smack before, it just like sets something off in me and I just like kind of snap. So um, he like hit me on top of the head in the back of the head and uh, not too, too back in the head, you know, just kind of like on top, you know, hit or miss. And uh, just like kind of set something off in me. So instead of defending the choke, I went from defending the choke to try to punch him and I hit him once and I got confident to hit him again. He sunk in the choke and um, I knew he had it, you know, and I tried fighting it for a second and I heard somebody say it's under his chin and it tightened right up. And uh, yeah, the rest is history from there. I went right to sleep. So you're saying he open hand like stalked and slapped you like what the Diaz brothers do. No, I know. I don't. I, I mean, I can't remember honestly. I, I that's what it felt like to me because it's something my head just 
you know. Um, and I went from defending the choke, you know, and that's where, you know, it's good, you know. And in the end, Matt Proven, uh, my, my Muay Thai coach in the end, he's like, honestly, I'm glad that happened to you. He's like, I'm glad you lost. He's like, not to make you humble, but in a sense, he's like, I want you to lose as an amateur. You know, he's like, I want you to experience that now. So we get this out of the way. We know what you're weak on. You know what I mean? Not weak, not essentially weak, but we know what you really need to work on. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we know that we need to get back to my basics, man. I need to get back to being a wrestler, you know, and, 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 with me being at uh, Recon, working with the best wrestlers in the state that the state has to offer, and even New England has to offer, um, I'm back to where I am. You know, I'm a wrestler that knows how to strike. You know, so and I'm I'm really looking forward to showcasing that if it needs to come to that this weekend. You mentioned Matt Proven's name because he just suffered his first loss as well. You know, yeah. and both of you guys have such a high ceiling as mixed martial artists. Do you feel like this is something where it's just going to springboard you here moving forward where we're going to see a more dangerous Cam Arnold here in the amateur ranks. And then when you turn a uh, professional, um, I, I'm, I'm going to let that speak for itself, but I'm just saying, I'm really confident in my, my abilities on the ground. Um, I don't ever, that's what happened to me with, against Jeff joy is not going to happen again. And, um, we're gonna make sure that that's what this whole camp is. We broke we broke it down right into percentages, you know. And ninety percent of this camp has been wrestling, grappling, you know, jujitsu, um, all of that. You know what I mean? We know what I'm really good at. You know, we know we know I can wrestle, but we know I love to strike. We know I can strike, and we know anybody really in the thirty five pound division is not gonna be able to take a right hand from me or even a left hand from me when I connect. Um, so with that being said, we're ju we've just been grinding down on the wrestling, getting really good at it. I'm I feel like I'm swimming again, you know. Um, since you know, since I first competed, it, it literally feels like I'm swimming again, and I couldn't be more grateful to my coaches for them. So camp is, is uh, for all intents and purposes, done. It's weight cut week. Uh, Weigh-ins are right around the corner here. How much do you have to cut? I I walked out of the gym today at 139.4. I probably put a little bit of water back on, so I'm probably like 140 and a half maybe. So That's not too bad. So all in all with this camp, I'm sure you've been going a little extra hard, especially coming off that first loss. How healthy is your body feeling? Do you feel really good going into this fight? Yeah, I mean, honestly, man, I've been in camp forever now. Like I, I have been in camp since – uh, Walt and I were supposed to fight last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't leave the gym, man. Yeah, uh, I'm always in the gym. I can't. It's an addiction for me. If if I'm not in the gym, um, I'm not going doing good things outside the gym. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I, I really need the gym. You know, I need to be there at all times. You know, it's good for me. It's healthy for me. Um. You know, but it's life is all about balance, too. So, you know, after this fight, I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to get my priorities straight at home. Um, you know, we're going to see what's next on the table, see what my coaches think, you know. Um, but as for right now, we're looking at Walt Shea. We're going to defend this title, and we're going to celebrate after that. I want some pizza. I want some cheesecake, some pasta. So I'm ready, man. Let's talk about Walt. Uh, from an objective point of view, if I'm going to break down this fight, I would say that you clearly are the more technical fighter. You're going to be going in there. I think you've got to be the favorite in this fight. The thing about Walt that really impresses me is he just has, he's a dog, man. He's got so much heart, right? He's just going to keep coming and coming, uh, and he's just going to leave it all in the cage. Where do you feel you're going to have the biggest advantage in this fight? Do you feel like you're going to be able to just go in there uh, and, and run through him, or, or do you expect Walt to, to take you into deep waters? No, I expect Walt to be a really tough fight, man. You know, I don't expect anybody to just lay over and just die in there. You know, I expect every fight to be the toughest fight in my career. Um, I expect Walt to be as deadly as ever, you know, I expect him to be more deadly than Jeff Joy. I expect him to be deadlier than my last opponent before that. So I'm expecting to see the best version of Walt. Um, you know, he's beaten some really tough guys in NEF and, uh, you know, I'm not gonna, oh, sorry. I'm not, I'm not going to be looking past him at all. You know, he's a really tough kid. 
So, uh, you know, he's an inspiration to many people. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this fight. So I know I, I know what I got to do to be in there. And uh, I'm not going to be worried about what he's going to do. I'm just going to implement my game plan, and I'm going to fight my fight. Now, I, I got to imagine, Cam, that you're coming into this fight looking for a first-round finish. You've had quite a few of them in your career already. But coming off a loss, I got to imagine you're seeing blood. I mean, just pretend like no one's going to watch this and you don't have to worry about saying anything. Give me a prediction, man. What do you think is going to happen? Are you going to go in there and, and finish him inside the first round? Uh, I'm not going to say the first round. I'm going to, I am going to finish this kid. Uh, I don't know who the judges are. Um... I don't intend on meeting them guys ever. I don't care to meet them guys. So uh, I like to get in there. I like to hurt people. I like to finish people and uh, live by the sword, die by the sword, you know? And uh, that's what I aim to do, you know? So I plan to put on a show. I want to bust them up, you know? And, you know, if I can get some cage time in there, I want to show that I'm ready for the pro rank soon, you know? Uh, I don't plan on staying amateur forever. You know, this is going to be my seventh fight. Um, you know, if I need one or two more, it is what it is. But, you know, I'm, re I'm ready to start showing that amateurs that, you know, a bunch of amateurs got going out there and just like, oh, and just grab ready to hold on to you and everything like that. I want to show some composure, you know what I mean? Take my time, pick my strikes, make them make a mistake and make them walk into something hard. You know, mm -hmm. make them make a mistake, make them to walk into something hard and make them knock themselves out. You know, that that's the that's the type I am. You know, I have natural power. I have natural I have a natural feed for finding people's chins and their buttons, you know. So uh, I am a technical fighter and I'm ready to show some weapons. Well, uh, I'm really looking forward to this fight. It's, uh, NEF 41 is going to be a great card. Uh, a lot of interesting fights and uh, quite a few title fights on the line that night as well. So always a pleasure talking to you, buddy. I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Before I let you go, if you got any sponsors you want to thank, I know you got a few. Uh, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you, man. First, uh, I just want to thank my coaches, Coach Darren Elder. I uh, love you, man. Uh, I want to thank Coach Eric Wood. I want to thank Coach John Dupree, Coach Matt Probe, and all my teammates at Recon MMA. Um, I want to thank Since Mill of Maine and Lewiston, Green Alternatives and Gray, uh, Medco in Lewiston, The Shea, Carlton Club, Crow's Nest Barbershop, Naples Marina, um, Mainline Plumbing and Heating, uh, Sneaker Graphics, Jim Cole, Carpentry and Roofing. Um, I want to thank Tammy Martin and also in memory of her son, Tre uh, Trevor James Nielsen. He's actually a really good wrestler. And um, I just want to give him some notification or some notary. And um, Best Riverside Street Garage and Cityside Motors. I uh, just want to thank all my sponsors. You guys have been great. Um, Maniac Militia, you know, I, we're coming in well over 100 strong. So uh, it's going to be a pretty packed night for Aura. One last thing before I let you go. Uh, I think you need to find a part-time job, maybe teaching a class in college about how to get sponsorships because you do it right, my friend. So keep it up. <laughs> thank you very much. All right, brother. We'll see you soon.